Okay, today I want to show you a groove that I was asked to explain uh, from a YouTube video that I put up some time ago. Uh, it's one of those little videos of just me mucking around, basically. Um, but a lot of people liked it, so uh, a lot of people are asking questions about it, and someone said, can you explain it? So I certainly can. Uh, from time to time, I don't mind doing this uh, special request stuff, so if you see anything of mine that you like but can't quite uh, get a hold of, uh, send me a message and uh, see if I can't explain it for you. So this one is called Cowbell Funk, uh, just because I was playing a funk beat and I was, instead of on the hi-hat, I was sort of riding the cowbell. Um, I'll quickly play it for you. Um, it'll be a little bit different to the video because the video was uh, uh, just basically improvising. Um, and this will be basically a more repetitive version of that groove. So here we go. Cowbell Funk. Okay, so it's on a different cowbell than I was using on the video, um, but the effect is basically the same. Uh, what I had was a pretty standard uh, sort of heavy funk feel going between the bass drum and snare drum. Um, I had a pedal hi-hat part going, an open-closed uh, technique that I will show you in a minute. Um, you can also see my lessons on School of Music Online uh, on how to get that open-closed hi-hat sound. Uh, we won't go too much into it, we'll just check out the, the groove. The cowbell part, um, you can check out the transcription, but more importantly than that is to learn something called the 2-3 rumba clave. So the clave is uh, one of those Afro-Cuban rhythms that sort of forms the basis of Afro-Cuban music, and um, this bell pattern that I was playing is basically an interpretation of the clave. And again, there's different types of clave, different ways to feel the clave, and this one is in the rumba clave 2-3. So um, you might want to check that out before you proceed, but I'll show you the, uh, the clave just played uh, in its full form on the bell, and then we'll imp uh, implement it into this, into this groove. So uh, basically, what I'll do is I'll keep time on the hi-hat, uh, I'll play 2-3 rumba clave, and then I'll add in the rest of the groove with the standard clave part played on the cowbell. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you can hear already it's sounding a little bit like the uh, cowbell funk groove, and that's because that's basically uh, what I was playing. And what I was doing is um, sort of chopping and changing from the standard clave part um, to a more sort of funky, sort of hi hat sounding groove, uh, more interpretive uh, of something like this. So I was sort of going between that and the full. Uh, clave part, rumba clave part.
Now, uh, open hi-hat. Uh, one of my favorite things to do with the hi-hat is to keep time, uh, not only by playing closed uh, pedal strokes on the hi-hat, which is a pretty common thing, uh, but making use of open and closed uh, pedal hi-hat strokes. So, in this particular one, I was playing an eighth note pattern on the hi-hat, one and two and three and four and... and so on. Um, I was opening the hi-hat, playing an open tone on the beat, so on the one, two, three, and four, and closing the pedal on the and notes. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. Now, how do we achieve this? I'll just move my block out of the way for a second so you can get a slightly better look at the hi-hat pedal. Um, basically, the open tone comes from playing what's called a drop stroke. Now, you can check out my drum lessons on foot technique uh, basics to uh, check out what is a drop stroke, but it's basically dropping your, the entire weight of your foot into the footboard and then keeping your toes up after the stroke to allow that open tone. So it is quite an aggressive stroke, technique-wise. You are using the full weight of your leg to drop into that pedal. You just got to make sure that the, the art of it is to make sure that your toes don't press uh, too soon into the uh, to the pedal, so that they keep the hi hats closed, and you get a closed sort of sound. Because then you, even if you try and open it after that, it'll still sound uh, pretty closed. So it's a matter of getting the angle right, basically the, the drop angle of your foot so it hits that board just right and gives you that open tone. Uh, the closed tone should be easy, it's a heel down stroke and what I do with the heel down stroke is actually use it to come up to play the next drop stroke. So it's basically what I call the lift drop, you're, you're making a, a, a heel down lift stroke starting with your heel down of course and then the drop. And when you bring it up to tempo, you see that I'm actually using, uh, using my toes to lift off the footboard and then drop in nicely. Now my front camera has just run out of battery, so I'm just going to quickly play this for you one more time. Practice hard and I'll see you on the next one.